Did you know that Wisp shock mods can trigger arcane consequence, giving you insane parkour velocity? Double tapping Wheel of Wisp grants you 3 seconds of damage and vulnerability. Wisp Prime is one of the 4 essential warframes for optimal arbitration farming. But here is the most exciting part. Wisp Prime's passive makes her invisible while in the air. Combine this with the Aura Aerodynamic and the mod Aero Vantage and she can aim glide while defying gravity for a whole 10 seconds. In this video, we will delve into 3 essential builds for Wisp Prime. First up, a powerful build perfect for dominating regular content. Next, we have a specialized build specifically designed for arbitrations. And finally, get ready to discover a niche build that synergizes perfectly with melee weapons, particularly the Incarnon Inodem. Whether you are a seasoned Wisp Prime player or an endgame giga chat looking to farm arbitrations or level cap missions, this video has something amazing in store for you. For a regular build, I choose to replace her fourth ability with Necrosis and Mif's assume ability Terrify. This grants maximum support efficiency by armor stripping and slowing enemies for your squad. The key of any Wisp Prime build is maximizing her buffs granted by our reservoirs. So let's start by modding Growing Power, Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude, Umbral Intensify, and as an Exodus mod, Power Drift. For utility, consider Prime Shuffled instead of Power Drift, if you have it, to benefit from its knockdown immunity. Also include Prime Continuity to counteract the malus from Transient Fortitude. To stay safe, I highly recommend using a Rolling Guard, granting you 3 seconds of invulnerability every 10 seconds. When it comes to speed, Arcane Consequence is an excellent choice, allowing you to cruise through missions. Since Shock Mod's damage counts as headshots, you can trigger Arcane Consequence consistently, further boosting your parkour velocity. I then announced Wisp range with Archon Stretch, giving her a 21 meter range on her Shock Mods on Terrify and 26 meters on her Bridge Surge ability. With this build, Wisp's crowd control is insane, you'll be shocking, blinding, fearing and slowing enemies all at once. Terrify's augment, creeping Terrify, slows enemies by 80%. To maintain your energy pool, include Prime Flow and utilize Arcane Energize for even more energy sustain. For Archon Shards, I recommend using at least 2 Embers to boost casting speed, since Wisp animations can be a bit slow. Alternatively, you can opt for Crimson Archon Shards to increase ability strength. And as an operator, I highly recommend using the Madurai School to further enhance Wisp Prime's casting speed using Power Transfer and benefiting from its 40% ability strength buff with Sling Strength. Now let's talk about the Wisp Arbitration build. I chose to replace her fourth ability with Rhino's Elmin Sosium ability Roar to enhance my squad's firepower significantly. In Arbitrations, the focus is on maximizing the power of her Vitality on Ace modes, modding Blind Rage, Transient Fortitude, Energy Conversion, Amar's Hatred, Ogre Secret, Power Drift, and Umbral Intensify will help you achieve this. For additional strength, you use two strength arcanes, Molt Augmented and Molt Vigor. Enemy Radar is essential to give your squad better enemy visibility. For utility, Prime Show Folded and Prime Continuity are my go to choices. Archon Shards should be focused on 5 ability strength crimsons to boost your strength even further. And like with our regular build, the Madurai Operator School is a must, granting you the 40% ability strength buff from Sling Strength. For my secret build, I choose to replace the fourth ability with my Mirage's Elmin Sotium ability Eclipse. I call this build the No Gravity build. It's all about defying physics and unleashing melee mayhem. Modding the Aerodynamic Aura and the Aero Vantage mod allows Wisp to fully benefit from her passive, granting her stealth while airborne and the ability to permanently aim glide without gravity interfering. To take full advantage of this, I use the Enodem, an extremely powerful weapon for airborne melee attacks. For more critical chance, I added 3 later modes along with Arcane Fury and Arcane Strike. To enhance my modes on Eclipse buff, I modded for Blind Rage and Umbra Intensify Strength mods. And for Utility, I went for Prime Shuffled, Rolling Ward and Prime Continuity. For Archon Shards, I recommend using 5 melee critical damage crimsons to further enhance your Inodem on the melee you'll use. The Naraman Operator School is vital for this build as Power Strike will help you to sustain your combo counter and Opening Slam will allow you to gain combo counter rapidly. Remember, you don't necessarily need to use the Inodem, any melee weapon will do for this build. Here is the build I use for my Inodem with a nice range plus critical damage ribbon. I also modded Prime Reach for maximum range and Orokin Reach and Skyborne Hunter for even more reach. As a final evolution, Sweeping Lunge was the perfect choice, increasing melee damage on airborne melee kills.